Hi everyone. Welcome to the second session for solving system of linear equations. We have uh, two kind of solutions. Uh, one is particular solution and the second one is general solution. Let us see what are these. So consider three um, these four equations. Okay, the four equations have been given and when you check the equations we can see that there are five unknowns so from this itself we uh, we can understand that uh, there can be many solutions for this because if we have five variables we should have five uh, at least five equations to solve the uh, equation uh, or in order to get the unique solution but here we have only four uh, equations and five unknown variables so uh, as we did in the last uh, session uh, we have to find out the augmented matrix and then we have to reduce it into Roy's length form and how do we find the um, augmented matrix we have to take out these uh, co coefficients and make it as uh, the matrix so this uh, two, uh, when you consider the first uh, first equation, this two and four minus two minus one and four will be the first row. So uh, you may be knowing that we can write it like this. So this uh, first row represents the first uh, um, equation, and second row represents the second equation, and so on. And after this line, we have the right hand side of our equations. And we have to reduce it into Roy's length form. So, for first I did is uh, swap the num uh, first row and uh, the third row. Okay, so we since we have a 1 over here, if we swap uh, these three, these two rows, uh, the R1 and R3, we will get a 1 over here at the first place. So, we did that. And we got 1 over here and the next thing is we have to reduce all the elements below it to 0. Okay. So for that I applied minus 4 R1 plus 2 R1 and minus R1. So this uh, these operations will make these three elements as 0. Okay. Then uh, we get it like this. So first, first row is over then when we go to the second row what happens is it is a minus 1 and we have to make it as a 1. How do we make it? We multiply it with minus 1 and at the same time um, we have to make all the below elements 0. Okay. So th the first thing I am going to do is I am going to make this element as 0. So for that I can just uh, uh, be minus or subtract this row with the R2. Okay, so it will get uh, 0. I got uh, it as 0. And this is this minus 1 I can reduce to 1 like this. Multiply it with the minus R1. Make it as minus R1. So it will be 1. Then what, what next to do is we have to make this as 1 and this as 0. So these two operations also I apply and what happens we finally get a matrix like this the augmented matrix comes like this the first row has a 1 over here and the second row has a 1 over here and the third row has a 1 over here and the last row is fully 0 and we are not considering this part here in this reduction okay and uh, these columns are representing this x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5. Each column represents each uh, variable. And which are the variables are base variables and which are the variables are free variables. So in the last lecture we have seen like uh, if, uh, a, if a column has a pivot element like this, it is a base variable. If x1 has a pivot element, that is a base variable. And when you consider x2, it has no pivot element, so it is a free variable. And when you consider x3, it has a pivot element, so it is a base variable. 
and x4 again has a base uh, pivot element so it is also base variable and when you consider x5 there is no pivot element so x5 is uh, free variable so we can sum up it like this pivot elements um, are there for x1 x3 and x4 so they are called as base variables and there is no pivot values for x2 and x5 so they are called free variables now how we can find the solution based on these uh, kind of variables base variable and free variable and i already told you like we have uh, two kind of solutions particular solution and general solution and the particular solution is uh, calculated like this we assign zero to all the free variables assign zero to free variables so here the free variables are x2 and x5 so i am assigning x2 is equal to 0 and x5 equal to 0 and when you take the second equation uh, you take this row and find the equation uh, x4 this one one into x4 minus 2 into x5 is equal to 1 that is this equation and you apply 0 to this equation x5 is 0 you will get x4 is equal to 1 then take the next equation uh, you take this row and find the equation uh, this is 1 into x3 minus 1 into x4 plus 3x5 is equal to minus 2 that is being written over here and from this substituting the value of x4 as 1 and x5 as 0 we will get x3 is equal to minus 1 then take the last equation like this that is x1 minus 2x2 plus x3 minus x4 plus x5 is equal to 0 then substitute the values x2 is 0 that we have already declared it like this for a particular solution and x3 is again minus 1 x4 is equal to 1 then x5 is 0 and substituting these values we will get x1 is equal to 2 and uh, we got all the solutions like x1 we got the values for x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 so the solution will be like this the solution is x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 is equal to 2 0 minus 1 1 and 0 this is x1 equal to 2 x1 equal to 2 that we have calculated here then x2 equal to 0 that we have assigned over here like this x3 is equal to minus 1 that we have calculated over here then x4 is equal to 1 that is we have calculated here and x5 is equal to 0 that is the first assignment over here and i can write it in another form like this x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 is equal to uh, 2 comma 0 comma negative 1 comma 1 comma 0 so i can write it like this or in the vector format okay so that is a particular solution then general solution when you find the general solution we have to assign the free variables to some uh, natural numbers some real numbers okay so here i am assigning x2 is equal to lambda 1 and x5 is equal to lambda 2 and these two uh, are lambda 1 and lambda 2 are belonging to real numbers first i take x5 is equal to lambda 5 lambda 2 and i try to solve the equation as before so when i take this fourth equation i get x4 minus 2 x5 is equal to 1 so what happens is uh, in this place in this place instead of 0 uh, instead of 0 I apply lambda over here so x4 minus 2 lambda 1 is equal to 1 that's what we are doing here okay so the, when you when I apply lambda okay lambda 2 here when I apply lambda 2 over here we get the equation like this x4 is equal to 1 plus 2 lambda 2 okay so i get the answer in terms of lambda 1 and lambda 2 and these lambdas can be any real numbers 
then the take the next equation we get the solution like this x3 is equal to minus 1 minus lambda 2 and take the third equation and uh, apply x2 is equal to lambda 1 we get the solution like x1 is equal to 2 plus lam 2 lambda 1 plus 2 lambda 2 so we got the solution for all the variables x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5. So we can sum up the uh, solution like this. So these are the equations for or the solutions. x1 is uh, 2 plus 2 lambda 1 plus 2 lambda 2. Then x2 is lambda 1. x3 is minus 1 minus lambda 2. x4 is 1 plus 2 lambda 2. x5 is equal to lambda 2. We can represent it in matrix form like this x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 is equal to uh, 2, 0, minus 1, 1, 0. So you consider this part over here, this um, coefficient part. This will give you 2. This is 0 over here actually, 0 plus. So it is 2, 0, minus 1, 1, 0. That's what I written over here 2, 0, minus 1, 1, 0. Then take the coefficients of lambda 1 part over here. We get the next next part like this. Lambda 1 into 2, 1, 0, 0, 0. So that is this is 2 and this is 1 over here. Then the remaining parts are zeros over here. Okay, then plus lambda 2 into the coefficients of lambda 2s are 2, 0, minus 1, minus 2, 1. So, that is being written over here. So, this is a general solution of our system of linear equations. It can be a general solution. Why it is called general means this lambda 1 and lambda 2 can take any real number as value, as their values. So, for example, I, I, I substitute 1 for lambda 1 and 1 for lambda 2, uh, I will get one solution. And if I substitute lambda 1 is equal to 2 and lambda 2 is equal to 1, I will get another solution. So, I can assign infinitely many values for lambda 1 and lambda 2 and so I will get infinitely many general solutions for this system of linear equations. So, that's all about uh, this session. And uh, next one is... Um, Reduced Roach Lin form. We have seen Roach Lin form and what is reduced Roach Lin form? So let's see an example like this. Uh, this matrix is in reduced Roach Lin form. So when you consider a reduced Roach Lin form, it should be in Roach Lin form and at the same time it has to satisfy one more condition. So you check the pivot element, all the pivot element. Yeah, this is a pivot element, this is a pivot element and this is a pivot element and uh, additional to the Rogelian form here, one more condition is there. When there is a pivot element in a column, all the other elements in the column should be zero. You check, this is the pivot element and the other elements, the element above this pivot element and the elements below the pivot elements are made zeros. Okay, and when you take this element, all the elements above this uh, pivot element are also made zero. This was not done in Roachlin form, but in reduced Roachlin form, we have to satisfy this condition also. So, in a pivot column, only the pivot element will be the non zero one, all other elements will be zeros. That is reduced to Roachlin form, and using this, we can easily find out the solution. So, here this um, x1, x2, x3, these are, uh, this is x1, this is x2, this is x3 and this is x4 and this is x5. So, we can see that for x2 and x5, there is no pivot element. So, we are assigning some real numbers to it and find the solution and just as we did in the last slide. Okay, then uh, another uh, method to find the solution is minus 1 trick. So, we have to find out the augmented matrix to reduce the rho h -Lund form. Then, suppose this is the reduced rho h -Lund form. Then, convert it into square matrix. Before we finding out the solution, we have to convert it into square matrix. 
So this matrix is uh, actually 3 by 5 matrix. We have to convert it into 5 by 5 matrix. That means we need to add 2 more rows with this. Then how do we add 2 more rows? We cannot randomly add some rows or along uh, onto this matrix. We cannot simply add. So our aim is to convert this matrix into a square matrix and at the same time when you have the square matrix and when you take the diagonal elements, all the diagonal elements should be either 1 or minus 1. That is the condition. Okay. So, how do we get the 1s? 1s are already there in the form of the pivot elements. Then the remaining minus 1s we can add. That means whenever we add a new row to this matrix, we have to make sure that these uh, this condition will be satisfied that means the either the uh, this diagonal elements are either one or minus one so you check this first row is already having a one over here so no problem when you consider the second row when you take the second row the diagonal elements is not uh, one or minus one so what we have to do is we have to add a row over here zero and this element as minus 1 and all the remaining elements as 0. Okay, this is how we add a new row to this. So, I made this row with 4 rows. This matrix is now having 4 rows. Okay, then you take the third row. Uh, okay, it has 1 over here. Okay, 1 minus 1, 1. Then you take the third, fourth row. Again, the, in the diagonal position, it has a 1. Then it in the last position we don't have nothing. So I will add one more row over here like all the elements as 0 and accept the diagonal element as a minus 1. Okay. So these two are the new additions. Now this uh, matrix has 5 by 5 elements. Okay. And check all the diagonal elements. All the diagonal elements are 1 or minus 1. So, these are the diagonal elements we have. Okay. So, this is a diagonal element. These are diagonal elements minus 1, 1, 1, minus 1. So, all the diagonal elements are either 1 or minus 1. So, it is in the minus 1 trick format. Now we can uh, easily find out the solution. So this each row, each column represents each variable x1, x2, x3, x4 and up to x5. Okay. And uh, now the same uh, matrix I have written over here. And we write it like this A over uh, till the symbol there on over the, over the A. And these are the variables and we can easily take out the uh, equation like this. Whenever there is a minus 1, uh, we take it as free variables and assign the lambda values to that. So, for x5 and for x2, we will assign the lambda values. Okay, so x2 is lambda 1 and x5 is lambda 2 and we can easily solve the equation like this. That is x4 is equal to, uh, it can be written like this x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 is equal to lambda 1 into the column corresponding to x2. So this is the column corresponding to x2. So that can be taken 3 minus 1, 0, 0 plus lambda 2 into the column corresponding to x5 that is 3, 0, 9, minus 4, minus 1. So that will give you the general solution. Okay, hope you understood this much and thank you very much.